our solutions to perfect problem six for math 211. Um, you're asked to solve this prime factorization crossword puzzle. The basic idea here is you take each of these numbers, uh, 20, 88, 46, 12, 10, 77, 28, 25, 16, and 48. And first, find their prime factorizations. You might want to do this with the prime factorization tree or use your divisibility rules. Um, but I'm just going to kind of do it mentally. I know 20 is 4 times 5, and 4 is 2 times 2. So the prime factorization of 20 would be 2 times 2 times 5. Uh, 88 is 8 times 11, and 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. So I can say 88 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 11. Uh, 46 is 2 times 23. It turns out 23 is a prime number. So the prime factorization of 46 is just 2 times 23. 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. 10 is 2 times 5. 77 is 7 times 11, both of which are prime. 28 is 7 times 4, but 4 is 2 times 2. So the prime factorization of 28 is 2 times 2 times 7. 25 is 5 squared, so the prime factorization is 5 times 5. 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And 48 is 8 times 6, uh, but 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. And 6 is 2 times 3. So the prime factorization is 4 twos and 1 3. And with this information, I'm going to attempt to fill out this crossword puzzle here. Um, how to do it? Well, I don't know. 1 down is 7 times 11, 77 here. So I could either write 1 1 times 7 or 7 times 1, 1. If you write 1, 1 times 7, then the second digit here has to be a 1. But if you look at the prime factorization of 3, of 20 here, 3 across, it's 2 times 2 times 5. You shouldn't have any 1s there. What I'm saying is this cannot be a 1, and therefore it must be a times. I must get 7 times 11 written here. Um, and what jumps out to me next is to look at 5 across. 5 across is 88, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 11. But note I got this 1 here. And the only one digit 1 that appears in here is from the 11. This must be an 11. And everything else is just multiplying by 2. So I can kind of fill these all in with 2s. Get to here. Uh, so I know 5 down and 6 down both begin with a 2. Uh, let's see, 5 down and 6 down were 16 and 48. 16 is easy. It's just 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. I guess I can fill that in. Uh, so that was 5 down. 48 is a little bit trickier. I know it's 2 times something times something times something times something. One of these is a 3. I just don't know which one. Uh, maybe I can figure it out, though. Let's look at 7. 7 across is 46. 46 is 2 times 2 times 3. No, sorry, 2 times 23. I was confused for a minute there. Uh, so this could be 23x2, but then I'd have xxx. That wouldn't make sense. So it must be 2 times 23. Okay, so I don't use up my 3 here. What about for 8 across? 8 across is 12. So it's 2 times something times something. Uh, there's a two. There's In these two spots, there's 1, 2, and 1, 3. Fortunately, at this point, I don't know what goes where. Let's keep looking. 9 across. 9 across is the number 10. 10 is 2 times 5. This couldn't possibly be a 5 because there's no 5 in the prime factorization of 6 down, 48. So it must be 2 times 5. So now we're a little bit stuck. Um, this could be a 2, and this could be a 3, or this could be a 3, and this could be a 2. So um, I'm going to put them in as a 2 here, and a 3 here, and a 3 here. But I'm going to make a little note there that There's another solution, or 3, 2, 2, with the 3 going there, the 2 going here, and the 2 going here. So it doesn't look like this solution is unique, but we're just asked to solve the problem, not asked to find all the solutions. But just an FYI, you could have different answers, and these would both work. Uh, let's continue. 4 down was uh, 25. 25 is just 5 times 5. So not a whole lot of freedom here. 1, 5 goes there, and 1, 5 goes there. Uh, 3 across is the number 20, which is 2 times 2 times 5. Um, 
Note that the x's are going to appear here and here. So the 2, the 2, and the 5 can go in any of these spots. I'll write it as 2, 2, 5, but maybe I'll again make a note. Or 2, 5, 2, or 5, 2, 2 in these three spots. Uh, and then finally I got two down. Two down looks like is 28. Uh, and 28 I figured out was two times two times seven. And again, you have a lot of freedom in terms of how you write those up. So I'll make note of that one last time. These three guys here, which hopefully this is still legible. I could say or seven two two or two seven two. So a lot of freedom in terms of how you write this, but this would be one solution to this puzzle. Or I guess this is really all solutions to this puzzle because I wrote the ors in here, but blue is one solution. Then you're asked to create your own. Uh, I'm not gonna do this because why, right? You can create your own and having solutions for one that I created won't help you at all with yours. Make sure to include solutions. Yeah, that sounds interesting. You go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and not do that in this video here.